Hi guys, thanks so much for joining me today and welcome back. So today I have a review and a demo for you. I'm going to be reviewing the Hourglass, let me just make sure I say it right. It is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation. And um, I'm wearing it now. I will demo it for you. Okay guys, so this is the foundation. It's triangle shaped, really cute little packaging. Very, very gimmicky guys because uh, my color is golden almond. That's what this color is. It could have been square and it could have been round. Doesn't matter. The um, the most important thing is the foundation. On the website, on the Sephora website, it said that this is double the pigment, and um, that it works as a foundation and a concealer. Today I didn't put on any um, heavier concealers. I didn't put on any contours or any highlight. Today it's just really about the foundation. Um, Guys, I love this foundation. This foundation is so beautiful. It is creamy, it is smooth, it blended down extremely well. The brush I used was my artist brush. I think this is the number six, if I'm not mistaken. I used this brush to apply the uh, foundation. If you like a lighter look under the eye, then of course you may want to use another product to give yourself the look that you're used to. I'm not going to use another concealer. I'm going to use this. On, as my foundation and I'm going to apply it under my eyes also as a uh, light concealer. Uh, it blended down very smoothly. Um, it's very creamy and it moves like the on the website it said it has the fluidity of liquid and this really does. It wasn't hard to move around on my skin. Now I did see a couple of videos on this the other day and um, I have to say that when you wear this foundation I don't think you need to wear a lot of moisturizer especially now that it's warm <clears throat> I do think that this would give you a, a oily look or it the um, moisturizer may a lot of moisturizer anyway a lot of moisturizer may interfere with the movement of the product it may look blotchy or it may look very greasy and oily um, so as when I put it on you'll see that I didn't get that look at all because I did apply my moisturizer very lightly and then I let it settle down before I applied this product. I waited for about five minutes. That's what I would normally do. And that's what I did with, with this foundation. Uh, let me just show you very quickly what it looks like on the hand. On my hand. And as you can see, I think that's a very good color for me. And I'm going to just move it down, blend it. Look, not even a lot of strokes. Not even a lot of strokes, and it's already blended down. It's a really beautiful foundation. It is truly seamless, just like uh, described on the website. Um, guys, that's it. I'm going to show you my demo really quickly. It. Um, I'm going to talk you through. I'm going to tell you how it feels and everything. I absolutely love this foundation. I think it's a thumbs up for me, but I have to wear it when the weather is cooler. So, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Enjoy the demo, and I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to swatch a little bit on the back of my hand so that you can see how smooth and seamless it does blend down. My color, again, is Golden Almond, and it's a great color for my complexion. So I'm just going to start by swiping a couple of strokes on both sides of my cheek, my forehead, my chin, my nose, and I used a little under my eyes. I didn't want a lot to uh, foundation there. So the brush I'm using is the Artist Elite Oval 7 brush. This is a great brush for, for me. It just gets right under my eyes really well and it just blends this product down so beautifully it really does look seamless once the brush smooths it down and you can blend it in any direction up up and down or in a circular motion it just blends extremely well so this is my second application I applied just a little bit and I'm just going to give myself a little bit of a fuller coverage. And I do recommend, guys, that you don't use a lot of moisturizer before you use this product. And don't use a lot of heavy or oily primers. I think it does help a lot with the foundation. The foundation is very emollient. It can appear to be very, very oily on the skin. So you have to combat it by using less of your um, primers and moisturizers. The powder I'm using is Dermablend and Dermablend is designed to just remove a lot of the oiliness from foundations and so it worked really really well with this foundation on my face and as you can see it's just a beautiful smooth 
super smooth look I absolutely love it so guys that's it all right so thank you so much for joining me take care and I'll see you soon bye bye